there is there's literally no food in Atlanta like there's no food in Atlanta what's going on I'm back to my channel my name is selena for those of you that are new for those of you that are returning what's up what's good what's popping before we get started don't forget to like comment and subscribe turn your post notifications on because you guys know i come with a video every single day why would you want to miss it okay so it is one o'clock i did have my protein water already and i finished it but i literally have no food in my house like no food in my house so we're just gonna go to the store i'm gonna pick up some things i might try to go like two stores but then i think i might get chipotle too i don't know we'll have to see um but i definitely need to get some food so let's go to the store and see what it, what we can find hopefully they have food today hopefully Alrighty, hi friends so i know i said i was gonna go to chipotle but i realized i waste a lot of food when i go to chipotle um so we're just gonna make it at home uh i got this chicken i got this chicken and it's already cooked so i was like fantastic i also got this rice cauliflower rice we're gonna go ahead and um make that and then I got this. I'm going to like make a whole little rice thing. I also got taco seasoning to possibly put in the rice. And then I just picked this up. It's like, it says guacamole salsa. I don't even know. It looked good. It sounded good. So I was like, shoot, why not? Um, and then I also got um, sour cream. So I'm going to go ahead and put the rice together. The chicken's already done. It's pretty much complete. I just had to like put everything together and warm stuff up. So I'm gonna show you guys when I'm done cooking it. Hey friends, so I just put the tomatoes in here to cook a little bit. I'm cooking the rice in the microwave first and then I'll just like throw it in there, season it, and yeah, because it was just like too frozen. So I just wanted to show you guys that. Okay friends, so this is what my rice is looking like. I forgot to show you. This is what my rice is looking like. Honestly, I love it. Mm -hmm. It's delicious. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and put some on my plate. I already know this is going to be over <laughs> what I normally can eat. And I already know I'm not going to be able to eat all of it. But we're just going to do what it is okay so right now this is weighing in at four ounces without like the sauce and stuff so i'll just eat this like really slow it's probably gonna take me a minute but let me go ahead and add some sour cream oh my gosh why is this so much sour cream <laughs> hold on hold on <laughs> okay there we go Okay, it looks a mess now because I just took some of the sour cream off. And let me get some of the sauce. Wow. Mm, it smells good. Actually, I feel like I used to eat this. And there we have it. Now, now it's weighing in at five ounces. So you guys already know, for sure, I will not be able to eat all of this I got the fork on there but you know so this is what it's looking like oh my gosh I'm struggling today clearly this is what it is looking like this is my rice if you didn't see it but I'm about to eat this I'll let y'all know how it goes it should be okay it's just like five ounces and I normally don't eat five ounces so I'll let you guys know how long it takes me because I know it's going to probably take like an hour. So I'll see y'all in a minute. Okay, friends. So I did go ahead and I finished. Um, I finished the food. It was actually really, really good. I liked it. I need to move this water. Whew. I did go to Kroger's. Um, I go to Kroger's like every day. But I went to Kroger's yesterday and I got more water um you guys know i like the electrolyte water and i told you that kroger's 
has the electrolyte water. Let me set y'all up so I can show y'all because this is kind of heavy. But Kroger's has the electrolyte water that I like. Oh, I'm sorry. It's alkaline water, not electrolyte. I don't know what I was talking about. But it has a 9.5 pH. This is what it is. And it's so much cheaper than the other um, Essentia water. And to me, it low-key tastes the same. Um, but anyways i am hungry i literally have no food in my fridge like i wanted to go shopping during like my little break and get some food but it was pretty it was i don't it was, it was really packed there so i did not have time to eat anything i'm about to just eat some chicken wings <laughs> love me a good wing but yeah but no for real you guys like I can't eat that much anyway. What was that? Okay, anyways. But I'm just going to eat some chicken wings, I think. I'm going to... I have, like, the hot wings and I have the barbecue wings. I guess I can make an egg. I don't feel like eating eggs. When I have eggs, I have to, like, be in the mood to eat eggs. I don't, like... Yeah. I'm not in the mood, so... I'll just make the little chicken wings. How many am I going to make? There's three in here. They look weird. They don't even look like wings, y'all. Look at them. They're a little Tyson. Like, what is this? Tell me what. Tell me what part of the chicken this is. Please, let me know. If if you can tell me what part of the chicken this is. Because <laughs> I don't know. Um, But I guess I'll just make that. There's three of them, but they're kind of like smaller pieces. So, I'll just pop that in the air fryer. It's. Um, almost it's almost 5 o'clock it's like 4.45 or something like that I did not do good with eating today which is why I kind of like do want to eat these wings so I can get some more protein and calories and some fat you know but I'm just going to throw this in the air fryer I know it said it's not ready yet but that's fine and then I'll see y'all when these are done. And so this is what my chicken is looking like. It looks like a lot. And to be honest, let me try to weigh it. Hold on. Let me see here. With the plate. Yeah, it's weighing at 6.9 ounces. Um, so I know for sure this is going to take me a while to eat. The other food, it honestly took me like an hour and a half to finish. Um, <laughs> I took multiple, multiple breaks. Um, so I'm just gonna like kind of eat uh, eat on this for a little bit. Um, this is probably gonna take me about two hours, but that's fine, sis. We'll take breaks. We'll take breaks. I'll let you guys know when I'm finished. <laughs> you guys, so it is. It's been an hour. I only ate one of the wings. See, only ate one, so I got two left. Um, I think I'm going to go work out though. So. I don't know if I want to eat one more before I go or if I just kind of want to just wait a little bit. But I got full off of that one. So I was just like, let me just wait. And it has been an hour. So I think I'm just going to go work out, though, because I don't want to be too full working out. So I think I'm just going to go work out and then come back. I really need to go grocery shopping. So hopefully I can get to the grocery store. So we'll see friends so i finished working out i took a shower and it's late it's it's not late late but it's like eight o'clock but i still need to i you guys <laughs> it's just crazy because i feel like every other week i do good when it comes to eating like i'm so close to wonderland i don't know i mean it's it's early it's early it's early but it's just like am i going to make it Am I going to succeed? <laughs> I don't know because I need to eat. <laughs> I need I, I need food. I need food, you guys. So I really need to go to the gas the gas station. At this point, I really need to go to the grocery store. I'm gonna go there, but like one salmon is so expensive now. It's literally like eleven dollars a pound. I I kid you not. And like normally they have sales. I swear I used to be able to get it for like six dollars. 
you know normally maybe like nine seven but it's eleven dollars a pound like what is going on so i really need to get some food um i'm gonna see if i can get some sushi or something too um because i don't think you guys see me eat sushi maybe maybe not but i'm gonna get some sushi i think i'm gonna see what they have um it's so late so who knows but <sighs> wish me luck you guys wish me luck don't be like me go grocery shopping go grocery shopping because you so you can pre-plan your meals so you won't be sitting here like oh what do i need to eat so i'm gonna hurry up and go to the store and see like what we can find so let's go so i'm at kroger's and i told you that kroger's has like no food like they don't even have um sushi all the sushi's out they don't have broccoli how do you run out of broccoli? So, I don't even know. This is what like kind of frustrates me, honestly. Because although I don't eat a lot, I have like a certain, like certain things that I only want, like I need to get in. So I might try to like find a different vegetable, like asparagus or Brussels sprouts or something. But I feel like I didn't see that either. So I'm gonna see. Friends, so I know you may think I'm playing when I say there is, there is, there's literally no food in Atlanta. Like, there's no food in Atlanta. What's going on? I'm confused. So I just went to Publix because I was like, oh, Publix normally has some good sushi, and there's no sushi. But there's no sushi. Kroger's had no chicken, no sushi, no vegetables. Kroger's didn't even have none of these stores had broccoli asparagus or brussels sprouts so i'm just confused i'm very much confused um so i'm just gonna go home and eat like a shrimp salad honestly it looks like i'm gonna have to eat a lot of like salads and kind of like quick things i did get some stuff at kroger's i'm gonna make like a stuffed bell pepper um and then i got stuff to make sandwiches um but i just got some more lettuce bolts i got some i think i got chicken like chopped chicken um that i'm gonna just put on a lettuce bowl with some cheese call it a day um and i'm not doing that today but i'm just saying like in my mind there was there was also no there was no salmon who is buying this ten dollar a pound salmon let me know <laughs> buy me some because yeah there was no salmon in Publix there was no salmon in Kroger so I don't really know so the thing is like after VSG you can really eat whatever you want to eat as long as you can tolerate it I kind of made like a promise to myself and like did a uh, like a a thing with myself that I was not going to eat any red meat or any pork so that's why like you guys see me kind of struggling with getting stuff to eat because um i don't eat red meat i don't meat i don't eat red meat and i don't eat pork um i feel like it's a lot easier anyway to to digest um like seafood and like white meat as far as like turkey and chicken um versus i've never tried it but everybody who i know who has had vsg they always say like beef is a lot heavier which we know it is heavier so um that's that's that that's the reason um and i also made a promise to eat healthier foods i could go and like make healthy eat healthier and make healthier decisions i could definitely go and eat a pizza if i wanted to and don't think i won't like there's gonna be times where i am like going to just have a piece of pizza i don't know when it's going to be because i don't order pizza and if i ordered a whole pizza i literally would probably only eat half of a slice of pizza if that um but yeah i'm not i'm not i just would rather choose healthier choices um, and things that are going to I've really learned to like fuel my body so this is where I was saying it is mental I've learned that food is fuel versus like pleasure if that makes sense I feel like a lot of us were um, we were eating because it tastes good we were eating 
because it was enjoyable versus we were eating because it's fueling our body because this is nur like nourishment to our body so that's what I definitely have learned um, with this VSG journey and what I wanted to learn and what I kind of want to like like explain to you guys and talk to you guys more about like that's where I say like get your mind right because I look at VSG as a redo like a start over like you know um, a, a second chance to like get it get get it right and start few putting good things into my body that's what I look at it as um, which is why you do see some people say that VSG has failed them um, but I just feel like sometimes we have to like really reevaluate ourselves and look at ourselves and make better choices when it comes to eating food because yeah um, this is only a tool this is not like a magic a magic wand so but I just wanted to have a conversation with you guys um, but I hope you guys enjoyed this little vloggy vlog um, don't forget to like comment and subscribe turn your post notifications on because you guys know I come with a video every single day and why would you want to miss it until next time bye friends